much, uh, Mr. Chairman. The three of you, I'm sorry I have to ask the question of all these nominees, but prior to this hearing, each of you has sworn under oath that your answers to the committee's written questionnaires are current, accurate, and complete. So would each of you just please verbally affirm that your answers to the questionnaire are current, accurate, and complete? Yes. Yes. Have any of you ever threatened the physical safety of federal officials verbally or in writing? No. no. Have any of you ever been affiliated or collaborated with an organization that uses violence against fellow Americans? No. no. Thank you. Ms. Tackleberg, I have a series of short questions uh, for you, and since your job is at the Department of Interior, uh, you quoted uh, Henry David Thoreau, Walden, uh, it is during his Walden years, he has written, I went to the woods because I wished to be there deliberately. So can tree spiking kill or maim loggers, mill workers, and firefighters? You know, Senator, um, thank you for your question. Um, I'm here to discuss my nomination and not anything uh, about that, so I, I so, don't So can tree context. spiking kill or maim loggers, mill workers, or firefighters? It's a simple yes or no question. As a gentleman, or yes. Okay, and it's a crime on federal lands? Yes. Thank you. Um, individuals who are aware of spike trees, they should inform and cooperate with law enforcement? Senator, I certainly will cooperate with law enforcement. Have done so that. somebody that was aware of that should as well? Uh, if you're asking me the question about me and how I would handle that, I will cooperate with law enforcement as I have done my entire life. Should individuals who disagree with federal policies threaten the physical safety of federal officials? Senator, if you're asking me the question whether I have done that, I have never threatened uh, federal officials or, or anyone else. Should individuals who plan or are otherwise involved in tree spiking incidents and threaten the physical safety of, physical, of federal officials, should they uh, expect to be hired by the Department of Interior, which you've been nominated to? Senator, again, I'm, I'm here to discuss my nomination for the Assistant Secretary for Policy Managed Budget and um, am interested in answering questions about my nomination and my, my past actions and my vision for this position, which is critically important. I mean, we have so many important challenges, climate being climate change being one of them, and I really look forward to working with you and, and this committee in a bipartisan fashion to address those issues. So you agree tree spiking can kill maim loggers, mill workers, and firefighters? Senator, again, I, I really wish to address questions that have to do with my portfolio and, and the challenging job that I've been nominated for. And if I'm confirmed, I'd be happy to work with you and others on the committee to address those issues. Dr. Berhe, you have clearly uh, are a very re respected scientist. Um, but your expertise is in so soil science, not physics or energy generation. Um, this has led to some criticism of your selection to head this specific office at the Department of Energy. The majority of the Office of Sciences research is in areas of physics, high performance computing. Do you have any experience managing programs in these areas? Uh, Thank you, Senator, for your question. Um, yes, my background is in soil science, biogeochemistry, and I'm an earth system scientist. So. Um, I have not worked in the areas of physics, but I assure you that if I were to be confirmed for this position, um, no area of focus within the DOE uh, vast research portfolio would be shortchanged in any way. Um, as you know, these research priorities for DOE are set in with this very deliberate and thoughtful uh, you know, discussions and consultation with Congress and, and the scientific community. Um, and I abide by those um, in making sure that the science remains highly supported. So, so the Office of Science has an annual budget of more than $7 billion. The director of the office leads over 800 federal employees, oversees 10 national laboratories with more than 26,000 employees. What kind of management experience do you have that would prepare you for this role? Thank you again, Senator. Um, so I'm an academic by training, um, and my areas of expertise are have so far been you know, in the areas of academic research, science and technology, and workforce development. Um, so Clearly, um, this is a slightly different uh, approach, but my work so far um, in pushing not just the scientific advances in multiple areas of research, but also workforce development and consultation with na multiple national and international efforts um, are well recognized. And I believe I bring an earth system sciences perspective that allows me to 
um, expand and work on these important yeah. issues. Thank you. And then, Ms. Stackelberg, in the 2016, you just talked about working in a bipartisan way on, uh, on climate change. In a 2016 interview with C-SPAN, you stated that Republicans are, quote, climate deniers. Your statement, C-SPAN, all re Republicans, climate deniers. Do you stand by that characterization today? Senator, I'm, I'm not familiar with that quote, but I certainly have worked with uh, Republicans and Democrats, not just on climate change, but a range of issues. Um, and so I, I have worked um, in a bipartisan fashion. Um, and if I spoke about the Republican Party, I may have been talking about particular senators, but I have had a career of working um, in a bipartisan fashion and with organizations that I don't always see eye to eye in. I, I will say that the position for which I've been nominated at the Department of Interior uh, is a different position from the ones that I have held. Uh, being a public servant is different from being at an organization with ideological views, and I understand that distinction. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Kent, 